at the root of, of agriculture is culture. And that's really what we're trying to do here, is build culture uh, using food as the lens. It's a really kind of moving experience uh, when I was young and I would talk to some of the folks and we would kind of sit around and, and joke and, and that sort of thing, but I also had this kind of weird feeling of, you know, why is it that some people have this food and some people don't? And I think I really got into the food movement um, from a social point of view and seeing food as a lens where you can view a bunch of different social issues. The Grow House is a nonprofit uh, food hub addressing food access in the Elyria Swansea Globeville neighborhoods of North Denver. And it's an area where there's uh, no grocery store for about two miles, two and a half miles. Um, so we're really trying to be a holistic approach to addressing food access in the neighborhood. We really focus on three things. There's um, production of food, distribution of food, and then equally, if not more important, is the education around nutrition, healthy eating, cooking, these sorts of things. And the idea is that it, we want to show not just, not just give people food, but, but what do you do with that food? And, and why is it important to, to eat a salad or something like that? We're really experimenting with a number of different uh, growing techniques, hydroponics, aquaponics, permaculture. And the goal is that uh, you know, we're doing all of it on, on a limited basis, but enough to kind of show how this stuff is really innovative. Our goal is every neighborhood has its sort of growing hub uh, where the community are the ones producing their own food and therefore have more control and uh, there, there's more shared responsibility about where their food is coming from. It's been a long process of building trust and we knew that kind of from the beginning. We held a lot of listening sessions um, and then had to even go out door to door, kind of knock on people's door. The first, you know, reactions that we were getting were kind of like, you're doing what? It, what is that? You know, and before we really had the facility to show it off, I can understand why it didn't make sense at all. What we're doing now is sourcing food, both that we're growing here uh, and also working with local growers. So we'll get these baskets of fresh eggs, meats, uh, some of the staples that people in the neighborhood are asking for, so like tomatoes, peppers, cilantro, that sort of stuff. And we'll be doing these weekly food baskets of local, mostly organic stuff that will be uh, less than Walmart prices for people in the neighborhood. We're lucky enough to work with markets that will pay us a fair price. And I think there's now a customer base that will that will buy. So I think part of it is this changing perception of what the real cost of food is and valuing um, real food. Uh, and I think that's something that, you know, in, in why the education piece is so important. Because, you know, you can tell somebody to eat healthy, all that good stuff, um, but unless you really learn uh, and experience why it's important, um, that really makes the difference so that you actually go out and spend the money uh, on healthy food. There's just also a ton of support for this going on right now, and we're just one little piece of a, of a much bigger movement of, you know, local food um, and healthy food um, and, and food for all.